In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your videos in the best quality possible. So we are talking about nice, crispy 4K footage, none of that garbage, right? So my name is Vince and I would say let's get right into it. So once you have uh, edited your project in Premiere Pro, what you want to do is make a selection of the part that you want to export. There are also other ways to do it, but this is how I personally prefer doing it. So that is step one, making a selection. So once you're in your timeline, you want to press I on your keyboard to set an endpoint to you know start your selection and then you want to go all the way to where you want your video to end press O on your keyboard and then you set the out point for your selection now if you mess up or you want to redo your selection all you have to do is right click right here uh, click here on clear in and out and then it's going to get rid of the selection but I was quite happy with that so I'm just going to stick with that now after that, you can go to your export panel, which is right here on the newest versions of Premiere Pro. With that, we want to first name our file. So I'm just going to name this uh, forest, for example. And then next up, you want to click right here and uh, select the exact location where you want Premiere Pro to export your file. So I usually just export to my desktop, but you wanna make sure to choose a location on your computer where you're going to be able to actually find the file that you just exported. After that, you wanna choose a preset. So uh, I recommend selecting this one, the high quality 2160p 4K preset. And now we are going to tweak this a little bit more. You could just say, all right, I'm cool with that. I'm just going to click export. But if you want that extra quality squeezed out of your footage, then we are going to need to make some adjustments. So first off on the format, you know, it's normally on H.264. But if you want to use the most up to date uh, codec format, then you want to click on H.265. It's a much more newer and efficient um, codec and uh, format. So I recommend going with this one. Uh, your file sizes are going to be bigger, but the quality will be just as good. Next up here, we will have our uh, video settings. So if that all matches your uh, footage, then you can leave that as that. We want to click render at maximum depth here, and we can also click uh, use maximum render quality. And again, you don't necessarily have to always use these settings, but if you are trying to go for the highest quality possible, possible export, then you want to click all of these. And then after that, here at time interpolation, you want to keep, keep that on a frame sampling. Now, under that here at the encoding settings, we want to have it on hardware encoding. So this way it's going to also use your graphics card. And otherwise, if you leave it on just software encoding, the export times are going to be just way, way longer. So I recommend selecting hardware encoding. Now here at the tier, you want to put that to high. Okay, and then now we can scroll down a little bit more here. I don't really uh, adjust anything at the color settings. Um, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now here we arrive to the bitrate settings. So the bitrate settings are probably the most important in this whole process. If you don't have this set up correctly, it's not going to give, get you the results that you are looking for. There are a couple options we have here. We can either go with CBR, which is constant bitrate or we can go VBR, which is variable bitrate. Basically, the difference between the two is with variable bitrate, for example, on places of the image where there isn't that much going on or that much that many details, it's going to, you know, dedicate less uh, bitrate towards it. So your file sizes are going to be a bit smaller. But if we choose constant bitrate, then it's just going to apply the same uh, setting throughout the whole video. And it's going to have, you know, the same amount of details everywhere. So if you're looking for really just like the highest quality export possible, then you want to go with constant bitrate in my opinion and as a good rule of thumb you want to double your target bitrate whatever your frame rate is so in this case since i have uh, my project in 24 frames per second i'm going to go and set this at 50. if i were to shoot this at 30 frames per second i would set it to 60 or if i shot this at you know 60 frames per second i would put it at 120. so that is kind of like an easy thing to remember now here at the quality if you want again the best quality possible you want to put it to highest and lowest so it will give you bigger file sizes the rendering will take uh you know longer but you will get the highest quality possible now here at advanced settings uh, i don't take any of these obviously this video is not vr so i'm not going to take that now next up we have the audio settings so 
here for the audio format leave it as AAC if it's not that for you then change it to AAC 48,000 Hertz is uh, perfect for us the channels are audio so I will keep it at that and the bit rate is 320 so basically with these you don't really need to change anything we have the multiplexer so I just leave that as it is on mp4 next up we have captions so obviously if you had captions and you want to export with those or whatever then you can turn it on in this case I don't have captions uh, for this video so I'm not going to do that next up at the effects um, section you don't really you know need to put anything there 99% of the time the only thing is if you have that issue where your export looks just a little bit washed out compared to when you were actually editing the video you don't have as much contrast or whatever a good solution for that could be to apply a gamma compensation lot to it so this is a problem that is still <laughs> you know a thing for a lot of people a lot of premiere users so if you have that problem just click here on uh, apply lumetri look and uh, here you would select that gamma compensation lot dot cube file and it would apply that to your whole project and that should fix your colors but if you don't have that problem don't worry about it again at metadata i don't change anything i don't really use any of these general settings either so once you have selected all these settings now we can go ahead and check out if everything is correct here so first of all you can see your source right here you will see the resolution of the source the frame rate and the length and then here we have the output so you know these two should be uh, matching so you can see that we have the video format here. It's uh, H265, which is the one we are going for. You can see it has the same resolution. We have the constant bit rate set up. Uh, you can see your target bit rate. You wanna make sure your export length is the exact length that you want your project to be. And you also get a nice little estimated file size here. So now you have two options. You can either just click here on export and then Premiere is going to directly export this to the exact location that you selected. Or you could also send it to Adobe Media Encoder. Now, if you really struggle with super long export times, then sending it to Adobe Media Encoder could be a good solution for you. I noticed that I get a lot faster export times whenever I use Adobe uh, Media Encoder. So that is pretty much it. After that, you just press export and it's going to encode your entire sequence. You can see it also gives you a nice little estimated time remaining. That is basically it. That is how you get the crispiest footage possible with Adobe Premiere Pro. But keep in mind, I would only use these exact settings if I were trying to get every single bit of detail out of my image. This is going to give you really large file sizes and it's probably also going to be pretty slow to export your files uh, with this. So if you are just making like a YouTube video or something like that, I wouldn't worry too much about it personally. I actually made a video about the best like YouTube export settings. So go ahead and check that out somewhere around the screen if you're interested. But this should be great if you are trying to export 4K and super high quality footage. So if you are interested in learning professional content creation, check out my personal masterclass in the description below where I teach you in step-by-step -step long uh, lessons. Hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.